the normal order for your business where you're used to having like time to answer the call and also serve clients, that is often not the case right now. Maddie, thank you so much for joining us and, and chatting with us today. Uh, this is Maddie. For those of you who have yet to meet her, Maddie is the head of growth and education at Smith AI. Maddie, welcome. Thanks, Andrea. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk through from a vendor perspective, um, mm -hmm. what is really happening and what's going on right now in the space and really what Maddie is seeing on, on the front lines within Smith AI and really just her take on, on COVID and the new world order and really how they can help. So Maddie, for those who have not yet been introduced to Smith AI, give me just a quick nutshell of, of who you are. Sure. So Smith AI is a virtual receptionist service for live calls, chat, an AI chatbot, and we also respond to text messages and Facebook Messenger messages. Awesome. Awesome. And so, so talk us through quarantine for you really quick. So everyone has been experiencing this very different, both in personal life and in business world. What has this looked like for you, either on a personal or a business standpoint? Like what has, what happened? You know, it's actually the same answer. I work from home. Our company is okay. fully remote. We have receptionists all over North America. And the amazing thing is that this is sort of normal day to day for us, except for the surge in demand that we've experienced. But because we have over 100 receptionists, we're able to absorb a lot of that demand. So I mean, unlike many other businesses, that's actually very cool because if it's something that you help with, you're actually already doing it. So it makes it much easier, especially if you didn't have a shift and Smith AI didn't have a shift at all. You were already sitting in place ready to just help and, and you know, triage. So, um, so that's, that's great. So talk me through, you mentioned a little bit, a couple of things. So, so mm -hmm. surge in demand, are you seeing just a massive outreach right now? What are you seeing? We're seeing a ton of, not only from our existing clients okay. who we are able to flex really quickly and help either scale up or, or change their um, phone triage, for example, like if we would normally transfer to their office or to certain extensions, we're now transferring to people at home. Mm -hmm. We're booking Zoom calls for them, right? Instead awesome. of um, maybe just an in-person meeting. Mm -hmm. But the really nice thing is, thankfully, again, because our team works remotely and we're not based in a call center, we have the ability to have all of our managers also working from home so that their work isn't disrupted to serve those clients. What we're seeing from the new client side, it really depends on if you're in the IT MSP uh, software space, if you're sort of a service provider that's getting a surge in demand right now, or even tax, finance, law professionals who are seeing a huge surge in demand because people are cooped up with the spouse that they were planning to divorce. And now there's an increase in the demand for that. You can mm -hmm. imagine it runs the gamut, right? Absolutely. But on the software MSP sort of IT provider side, if you're setting up phone systems, then what happens is the normal order for your business where you're used to having like time to answer the call and also serve clients, that is often not the case right now. We see mm -hmm. MSPs having a ton of volume coming in asking for set up my VoIP phone system, make sure that my employees are able to answer their phones from their home office. And what that means is they're totally run down. Mm -hmm. and they can't provide the same level of responsiveness that their clients are used to, that their reputation is based on. So what we're able to do is answer their calls. We can answer all calls, overflow. We can call back the people who are submitting your web form leads, right? And make sure that we deliver that level of customer service that someone calling your business for the first time expects. Mm -hmm. Right. And that you expect of your business because your technicians and you and your whole team is deployed in the field right now. And just crazy busy. So mm -hmm. now I, I, I love the way that you describe that because right now there are so many variations of what a business looks like, right? You, you had mentioned to me even offline that there's so many use cases right now. Some businesses are scaling up and are crazy busy like yourself, like Smith AI right now, because they have a solve and they have a solution for problems that businesses and people are encountering right now in this time. And then right. the flip side of that, there's, there's the scarier side, right? There's the businesses dwindling. We don't know what's going on and, and right. how do we survive this? Let's say if Smith AI runs a spectrum from the solo entrepreneur to the large SaaS software company based mm -hmm. in Silicon Valley, right? We've got the solo entrepreneur or the small, let's say, law firm. And all of these small businesses right now understand that they can get 
really low or no penalty loans mm -hmm. with forgiveness. Yeah. And what that means is a lot of the recommendations from the financial and tax advisors are saying you should, if you can, actually allow for the layoff and give them unemployment benefit mm -hmm. and also be able to then take the loan and fulfill that for salaries and things yep. like that when they come back on. So, so that's actually something that if you're laying off staff, that may be for everyone's benefit and mm -hmm. not as a huge penalty to your business right now, but it does sort of prevent your ability to, to, to deliver the same level of service for those clients who you're still maintaining, right? Like a layoff doesn't mean a business closure. So right. how do you keep your reputation up right now? How yeah. do you capture the leads that do come through to your business? Because if you've laid off your frontline staff, if you've laid off your support staff or some of the other people who are helping your business, mm -hmm. um, if you're in a restaurant, you know, your, your, your staff, you know, in the room, they're probably not all able to make food deliveries, right? Like maybe there's one person who you can deploy. Right. What ends up happening is that for a temporary fix, we plug in with month to month service and we're able to say, we can answer your calls. We can not only answer, but also get the work done that those frontline teams would do. And this is super important because mm -hmm. just having a phone call come through and then you get a message or you're not able to accept the transfer means that that work still piles up on your plate at the end of the day. Yep. So the really important thing is being able to not only take the message, but to screen, to schedule those calls to you know take payment if something is due maybe mm -hmm. people owe you money right now and you know that your clients are doing fine and you want to go see and if you if you can collect that money yeah that's right due, absolutely you that cash flow right yep, absolutely now on the side of the medium and larger side businesses we're seeing a lot of deployment for not only phone call overage to screen before the sales teams get them because imagine you have sales reps, you have, you know, technical implementation managers and onboarding teams, their time is super precious. And those are people who take a lot of time to train, right? So what you want to do is protect that time, have us answer those calls that are coming through, screen for that potential client who just filled out the web form and said that they're interested, mm -hmm. but need a little bit more information before they get on that sales call. And then you're able to use that time wisely. Similarly on the chat side, Mm -hmm. What we see is that those teams are also responding to chats themselves, and that can be really interruptive to their productivity, right? Mm -hmm. And it can even lead to, if you're not able to get to a chat right away, sort of that digital voicemail, we're not here right now, you know, yeah. no one's available on chat. Well, what's the point of having the chat with mm -hmm. you, right? So you can set up the chat bot with automatic screening and then offer a call back to that person or to schedule on your Calendly or Acuity or whatever you're using for online calendaring, mm -hmm. right? And then they've had to run through those questions and they're pre-qualified. Or you have our live agents actually answering the calls, the chats, the text message, the Facebook message, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and then that still runs through that system. So that is, I would say, being able to hand off the chat or automate the chat allows for that screening and protection of your most precious team's time, no matter how large your business is. And then they get to focus. So if, if you are making large investments in more of a front end or a customer facing role, which ends up being a larger investment in those type of, of leaders and those type of individuals inside of a business. So the things that take away their time that are not as, as, necessary for them, to, for them to do yeah exactly. their, their time spent on that the ROI is not the same so so right. making sure that the other things that can be handed off are handed off and that but they are handed off to someone they're not left behind yeah. they're actually given to someone so exactly. I think that's a great way to describe that and so walk me through really quickly um just any promos you're running right now like what does price point on this look like if someone's like right. oh that sounds really costly what does it look like um, and if totally. they want more information they can reach out but give me like just a quick look at it yeah, absolutely. So plans start at $140 a month for okay. calls or chat sets with the live staff. Now the okay. AI chatbot is something that is offered completely free for unlimited chats with five, you know, Q and A that are pre-programmed, five screening questions, like enough to definitely deploy and see if it's worth it to you to use. And we have plenty mm -hmm. of clients who use the free plan. Awesome. Now the really nice thing is that the live staff chat and calls starting at $140 a month, include a 20 call, 20 chat free trial. So you're not putting any money up front. You're not putting your credit card down that may mm -hmm. be up in flames right now anyway. Right. That, is, that is like your trial grace period. And what that means is that you're able to vet us and we're able to right. make tweaks and changes so that we are ready to go as soon as you sign up for a plan, which is month to month. 
includes one free CRM integration. So if you're using Salesforce or HubSpot mm -hmm. or a particular CRM for your industry, we okay. can plug that in or we can go through Zapier. And then the really nice thing is it's month to month, but it also includes spam and sales call blocking. So okay. I imagine right now there are a ton of people who are getting like, you know, super cold, uninitiated calls. And, and what happens is those spammers, those robocallers are interrupting everyone. They're also faking like the government agencies. We know that they're faking the IRS right now. So we need yep. to block those for you yep. and reduce that noise. Now, the really nice thing though, I will say is that if you have people who you're generating through campaigns, mm -hmm. right? Like Marketopia, what you guys mm -hmm. do, then you want to make sure that if someone calls you back for that phone call you paid to generate, yep. right? That lead you were paying for, you want to make sure that you're responsive to them. So as a base line I think we fit together beautifully it's mm -hmm. the same way that if you're paying for advertising online you've got to answer the phone or else you might as well be torching that money absolutely it's setting up phone. someone Exactly. Like if you're setting up someone's website, we know more MSPs that are getting into like sort of more marketing agency style things. Yeah. Um, if you're setting up someone's website in addition to um, their Ring Central or their VoIP phone system, right. you want to add value right now that is unique and also affordable. So if you have the ability to add that chatbot that's free to their website, what are you doing? You're differentiating yourself from the market. Mm -hmm. You're adding a layer of expert advice and guidance for your customer that may not know that that's a critical component to their growth so that right. they capture every possible lead they can right now, because that's always cool. important, but yep. it's more important now than ever if your business is shrinking. So $140 a month, month to month with a free trial, and you can get signed up at smith.ai. We have chat on there. You can call us as well. And the nice thing is for the COVID, we are doing an additional 20 calls for your okay. first month of service. So it's basically like if you have a starter plan, you get a month for free, or you can apply those 20 calls to your first larger plan if you need it. And those can be inbound or outbound calls. So we can make the call for you. Mm -hmm. It counts exactly the same as the inbound call. And we run seven days a week. Awesome. Thank you so much, Maddie, for joining me. Sharing a bit about Smith AI and everything that you are bringing to the table and that you're helping a lot of these vendors and partners with and, and more to come from you. I know you guys are surging right now, which is awesome. Um, and obviously we're very thankful to have you in the channel and, and helping to solve a lot of these, these just things that are going on right now. So thank you for joining us and we will talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Andrea. Take care.